I haven't been so excited to sit down and film a video as I am today in a while. I don't know, I'm just like particularly excited to show you guys the stuff that I got. I am gonna show you two orders, one from Sephora, which is relatively small, and then one from Beauty Habit, which is really what's making me so excited to film this video because this Beauty Habit order is a birthday present to myself. I was like, I just wanna order some new things. The Beauty Habit order is my attempt at moving in the direction of new brands, smaller niche, eco luxe brands and kind of trying to showcase some new and different things as opposed to just kind of like same old same old i guess beauty habit is one of my just favorite online boutiques to sit and drool over and create a dream cart i just everything about the site i don't know they carry really kind of under the radar boutique brands and I could sit literally sit on the site for hours and just go on a fake shopping spree. Without further ado, into the ever popular Mercedes shops loot display. So why don't we start with Sephora? This order is not terribly exciting because I, well, it's moderately exciting. I got a couple of backups of things which are not really that exciting. I'm not really one to purchase a lot of backups or hoard things at all, but for certain things that I really am afraid of running out of before I would be able to purchase them in time and having even like a day or two lag between using them, that's when I'll purchase something to have as a backup stock. And this is a La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant in Fresh Vanilla Lemon. This was in my May Favorites and I said in that video that I had purchased a backup of it. So I now have one of these in my stash. And then I got a backup of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in medium brown. I'm working through one of these right now. I'm totally obsessed with it. I've had it for about a month or a month and a half and that's what I've been using to fill in my brows. Don't want to be without it. Hence preemptively getting myself another one. Because also because I feel like these sorts of products like poof they're gone. Like you get to the end of the nib with like zero warning. So yeah. Then I got a couple of things off my Sephora loves list. I got another one of the Bite Buttercream lipsticks because I love pecan so deeply. I went for the one that's been on my wish list for a while. In fact, I think it was in my last uh, Currently Lusting in Beauty video. This is the color Rosewood. First of all, like I love the packaging. It's like heavy, beautiful cardboard. It just feels like so substantial and satisfying. Why am I so weird? Someone please tell me. The Bite Buttercream is like one of my favorite lip product formulations of life. I went for this color just because it looked like it was gonna be a beautiful mauve, like fall appropriate mauve. I didn't really need another shade like this, but need is such an inconsequential word when we're talking about beauty products. So this is a swatch of Rosewood. Like, could you die? for it. Like the minute I put it on, I thought it was so pretty. However, interestingly on me, any purple that's in this comes out, which I just think is like so fascinating. I think that this will look very different on you and everybody than it does on me. Like, I just think it's a color that will morph according to your own undertones. It pulls dark and purple on me, but I think it's gorgeous. It's almost like a darker version of the Bite Matte Lip Crayon in Tort, which I wear quite frequently. That one has a bit more pink to it, and this one has more purple. I'll try and wear this in a future video so that you can see it. I was just in a red mood, red lip mood today. I think it's so, so pretty. I wore it out to lunch um, the other weekend, and it has the same performance as Pecan. Obviously, the formula is incredible. Really happy with the color. I just kind of want to keep showing it to you. And then the other thing I decided to go for that I have tried and I'm pretty sure I will not be keeping is the Christophe Rabon. Please tell me I'm saying that correctly this time. Um, what is this called? Instant Volumizing Mist with Rose Water. I purchased this because I was very easily marketed to and swayed by a hair video on Monica Blunder's channel. The hairstylist doing Monica Blunder's hair, used this product on her hair before doing kind of a loose beachy wave look, which is how I really like to do my hair. So I've probably done four or five 
blow dries hairstyles with it and the thing is I actually do like the performance on the label it says densifying care roots and lengths particularly for fine hair so I have medium fine hair I would say it's not like baby fine but it's certainly not thick and I'm always kind of looking for sort of volumizing plumping products for my hair I thought it actually performed quite well. I really just would use this around the roots, crown, sides, and then style as usual. I thought it gave nice grip um, and it did give kind of a nice texture to the roots. I hate the smell. It is synthetic rose smell all the way. In that video, the funny thing is that Monica Blunder and the hairstylist were both like obsessing over how good it smelled. I guess some people really love the way synthetic rose smells and I do not. It makes me think of old ladies and I don't like it. And I could smell it in my hair like in the days following. Like I wash my hair every three days and I could continue to smell it in my hair and I just was not a fan. For the price, it was definitely over 30. I'm not willing to keep it for that price and not just really not liking the smell. So now, this is totally unrelated, this video is gonna be so long, why can I, sometimes I'm just like in this super chatty mood. I am now intent, like a laser focus intent on trying way hair products from Jen Atkin who, I've just been reading like way too much into the gloss. I'm very aware that I am being marketed to and that I'm like absorbing these subliminal messages. I also now want to try glossier makeup. Like it's a whole thing. At least I'm sort of, I'm aware of what's happening, I guess. But um, the beauty product junkie in me is like, I need to try these things. I've heard very good reviews about whey hair products, so I think I'm gonna try the dry shampoo and the hairspray and potentially the mousse. They have a mousse in that range too. So I'm very curious about them. So I think I'm gonna return this and maybe try some of those instead. And then I got, oh, I forgot about this. I haven't used it yet, but I got a, I used a code to get like a deluxe skincare sample. And so this is the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. I've been dying to try Drunk Elephant anything. So when I saw this, they had like a really nice lineup of skin deluxe skincare stuff to try too. But I was just like, give me the Drunk Elephant. They have their like packaging and marketing down so well. This is an anti-aging vitamin B5 gel that delivers intensive skin hydration replenishes nutrients and visibly brightens and improves skin texture and tone. I think this is a daytime product. So I'm gonna go put it in my skincare cabinet and report back. It's certainly not enough product to be able to tell a visible difference, but I can report back on my product experience at the very least. And then I got two samples if you care. I got the Algenist Complete Eye Renew Balm. I actually, if I see an eye cream eye balm sample, I usually tend to grab it because they last a long time. I don't really know anything about this brand. If you do or you have used this, I don't, the ingredient list is like a little scary looking, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, so now looking at it, I'm not entirely sure I wanna use it, but I'll do a little deeper research into it and I'll decide or I'll just toss this. And then I got another uh, Briogeo sample, which made me think, um, I just started using my sample of the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I actually used it today on the ends of my hair. I washed my hair this morning and used it on the ends and it smells so good. I had been having this sample sitting around for many months. TT Sandra, this was in her monthly favorites video, and she and I have quite similar hair types, except that hers is um, dyed and processed. Mine is not, but um, she said it was sort of a very lightweight conditioning mask, and she was using this just as a hair conditioner, so I busted mine out, decanted it, and used it for the first time today, and I'm really happy with it. But this is the Blossom and Bloom Ginseng and Biotin Volumizing Shampoo. This is a clean, more cleanly formulated hair care line that Sephora carries. And so I'm really curious to try more. They market themselves as six free hair care. So there's no sulfates, parabens, silicones, phthalates, artificial colors, chemical fragrance. And then they say they're 98% naturally derived. Their formula is 98% naturally derived. So I'll report back. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like having heart palpitations, getting so excited to show you guys everything I got in my beauty habit order now. Literally so excited. So actually there are a couple repurchases in here, things I wanted to stock up on, but most of the stuff is new to me. So in no particular order, I decided to get the untinted other version of Suntegrity. This is the Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen and Primer Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So this is the other product in Suntegrity's range versus their five-in-one tinted. I think you can also get that product untinted though too, the one that comes in the... Um, oh, I don't want to get up and get it, but I use it all the time and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I had never even sampled this formulation of Suntegrity and I am like smitten. The reason I wanted to get this too is because I wanted an untinted sunscreen because as you know I'm just like I'm in a whole not wanting to wear a lot of makeup on my face phase and so I wanted to have a totally untinted sunscreen option. Couldn't be happier with this product. First of all it took me like 20 minutes to try and figure out how to like deploy the product. You're, it, it's, it's a weird dispensing mechanism, but you basically depress this pump on the top and product comes out here. So this is what this looks like, but it blends in beautifully, leaves no white cast, and it has like the most amazing scent. Like it's, oh my God, it smells so beautiful. It's like a, a lighter, more refined version of the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Repair CC Cream, but like way better. That one I think is a very polarizing scent and product in general, but oh my god, this is beautiful. It I've used it a handful of times. What I will say is that it takes a little while for it to sink into your skin and, and like not have sort of a very dewy finish. So what I'm intending to do is put this in my skincare cabinet and literally use it as the last step in my skincare routine in the morning. And then it'll have sort of 10 or 15 minutes to sink in before I start doing my makeup. But it's just like gorgeous. I cannot say enough good things. It's such a fav immediate favorite already. And so if you haven't tried this offering from Suntegrity, I highly recommend. I like will never be without Suntegrity in my life. I know that they're a more expensive sun protection line, but in my opinion, so worth it. If you're gonna invest in like, you know, kind of one skincare daytime product, I would recommend a Suntegrity just because they last forever. The ingredients are so good. They're so high performing, like amazing. Okay, I was in need of a new face toner. And so I just went for a traveler version of it, but it's the Infior Vital Toning Floral Essence. I had used this when I had done a discovery kit from Infior and I'm still using the Lustra and Treat, which were past Beauty Heroes Hero products. I just wanted to have this toner in my life. I mean, it's this was like $34 for this like little size. Infior is up there for me with Mahalo, like top skincare brand I've ever tried, would recommend, just have had beautiful results and experience with, so I'm really super super happy to have this gem in in my life for at least the next like month or two i'll probably get out of this okay i'll show you two things that i have had in my life before and just decided to throw in as repurchases the first is the neves cloud of protection this is an essential oil room spray i bought the small size which is the one ounce um travel or trial to take to work to spray in my office i i have um on my desk at work i have an evan healy hydrosol and a bottle of urban moonshine bitters and one of my co-workers who was a friend of mine prior to me starting to work at this place it was like such a weird I knew him prior and then I found out he worked like down the hall from me. He came into my office one day. He's like, what's going on here on my desk? He's like a little apothecary vibes. I was like, yeah, like come, I'll give you like a face mist re refresh and like I'll give you some bitters before you have lunch. I'm like amassing a reputation, I guess. <laughs> um, so this is going to get added to my little desk arsenal of Mercedes-esque products. <laughs> 
So then I decided to get a replacement of the R.L. Linden & Company Close to Me Uplifting deodorant spray. I have used this in the past and I really like it, especially with summer coming up. It almost functions as a, oh, so nice, like a perfume too, because it's similar to the concept of Living Libations Poetic Pits, if you've ever used that product. I have not, but it's sort of an essential oil based way to prevent odor, underarm odor, but it also interacts with your natural body chemistry to kind of emit a nice fragrance. So I found that when I used this, I did experience that. It's uh, kind of spicy on me, but like very refreshing and worked really well either over Schmitz or over La Vanilla, or I'm just a big fan of layering deodorants, and I really do recommend this product. Okay, the rest of the stuff were all just things that I was like, I want to try some new stuff. Actually, um, I just wanted to take a moment and show you the packaging of this before I unwrap it. I have tried the Skin and Bones range before, but it was many years ago, and at the time it was way too um, strongly scented for me, and I ended up returning the skin oil. However, I recently have become re-attracted to like sandalwood and frankincense scented things. So I decided to give the Skin and Bones Moisturizer another try. This is sort of an all-purpose moisture product. Apparently you can use it on your face, on your body, um, on your hair. It's one of those deals. And I just have always been so completely like smitten with the concept and execution of this brand because I think that it's, it's a very tightly, tightly produced line. They literally have like five items in it or something similar to something like Maya Chia. Just very, very tightly edited and executed, which I love. Their logo just like does something to me. I'm totally obsessed with it. And the ingredients are beautiful. So excited to retry this. I will report back on how it's sort of faring in my life and with my energy these days. But yeah, love. I was very tempted to repurchase my Ela Ile shower gel, which I love. It's called like the body wash for toning skin with apricot and vetiver, I think. Love that product. I will repurchase it at some point. I needed a new um, shower gel or soap. But this line of soaps on Beauty Habit caught my eye and I was like, I'll do something new. It's by the brand Wild Medicine. And they are bars of soap with gemstones suspended in them. Like, I cannot even. It's just like so up my alley. They have different scent and crystal combinations. So I went with the Eucalyptus Calendula Flower Bar, which has calcite gems in it. And I am just really, really, really excited to use this. I normally cut soaps up to use them so that I'm not kind of like trying to wash my body with this big, huge bar. Um, but I can see the crystals like suspended in the soap and it's just absolutely like beautiful. Yeah, if you're into this kind of thing and don't mind spending 20 plus dollars on a bar of soap, then you might like wild medicine as well. I needed a new lip balm to use overnight and have like on my bedside table. And this little brand caught my eye. This is Kyoko Lip Balm, a lip balm that softens your lips on a sunny morning after a swim in the lake. Like I'm just so obsessed with kind of like the minimal packaging. This brand is based in Amsterdam, I think. And I was just really, really attracted to the whole like aesthetic and vibe of it. I think that this is like the only, it's like a one product brand. The ingredients are very minimal. It's very clean. Oh, I should have mentioned that too. Beauty Habit has a totally dedicated natural and organic section. They carry lots of brands I'm sure you're already familiar with, but then a lot of like smaller niche things like this. And so I've used this, um, for the last couple of nights and I do I do really like it I wouldn't say that it's like profoundly moisturizing so as an overnight lip treatment in the winter I don't think it would be enough but as a sort of lightweight balm moisturizer I think it's just I, I I'm really enjoying it the texture is much lighter than you're totally pointless to swatch a clear balm I don't know why I just did that but 
Um, it has sort of a little greasy slip to it, not sticky. So I would say it's more greasy than sticky, um, but quite emollient. And the scent is just very, I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. Oh, I just got like a, a scent recall. Sort of similar to the Burt's Bees Honey Baby range. If you know how those products smell, this kind of reminds me of that, which I enjoy. Um, okay, a couple other things. I went for a little travel size of the Therapy Awaken Skin Rehab. This is a body scrub. And this is a UK brand. They're the ones that make the therapy bath salts that uh, Viviana Does Makeup made really famous a couple of years ago, I think. I saw that they had this little um, $16 <laughs> um, travel, um, travel pouch of the skin scrub. And it just, it sounded quite lovely. You're supposed to just use a small amount of the dry powder in your hand and mix it with water to create a paste. And um you know work it into your skin leave it on for a few minutes so the enzymes and minerals work their magic i've always wanted to try this brand so i thought that this was a good sort of little intro way to see what it's all about and i'm all about body exfoliation these days like i can't get enough so these are the honest hazel eye gels i have kind of always wanted to try those skin iceland um eye packs that you can get and it's kind of like de-puffing cooling um post hangover not that i drink really at all anymore but um i don't know these i saw these and they looked intriguing they were in the natural organic section so you get three packs of eye gels and it says they are an instantly revitalizing under eye treatment that relaxes, refreshes, and treats with cactus collagen, aloe vera, and vitamins C and E. I just thought they looked fun to do like an at-home spa treatment. I feel like I'm so overly enthusiastic in this video. It's like not even funny. Normally I'm so much like snarkier and more cynical, but like these things are just making me so, so happy. <laughs> then I decided to try a new perfume range. This is the brand Smoke Perfume. I'm like dying over sort of the copper embossing on this card. The brand has created three different scents, Smoke, Ritual, and Wellspring. I read the descriptions and I decided to try the eponymous perfume Smoke first. They're $8 each and I just, I thought I'd try one and maybe I'll try the others. The only one that didn't really sound up to up my alley was Wellspring. It was kind of like described as a light citrus and I don't really like those scents. Smoke was described as like a campfire-esque vetiver-based scent, and I really enjoy vetiver in perfumes. Their tagline is create solace in scent, which I thought was really nice. And the samples come like this with a little piece of copper tape holding the sample in place. I've tried this twice and I enjoy it. I'm not sure that this will end up being a full-size purchase for me, I do like it, but it, I don't think that it's hitting the mark for me in terms of being like a signature scent potential. But I think it's like a nice, well-balanced vetiver scent. I'm very bad at describing these things, but if anyone else has tried Smoke Perfume, um, particularly if you've tried Ritual or Wellspring, let me know if you think that they're worth trying. And then I got a nice little bag of samples from Beauty Habit, and I think that they tailored it to my purchases because all this stuff is from like more natural brands. Um, so I got an Ursa Major Supernatural Skin Care Stellar Shave Cream. I'll probably use this on my legs. Oh, they're a Burlington Vermont based company. That's so cute. I got a Reverie Hair Milk Leave-In Treatment, handcrafted in California. I've been dying to try this. Um, I've actually had the full size of this on my Sephora Loves list for a while. Again, like gorgeous execution of branding and packaging if you've seen the full range of this. So really excited to try that. And then I actually never knew that Nukes which is a Parisian brand, I think, was natural. I don't actually know if they are, but maybe they're not, and they just decided to give this to me. It's the Nukes Micellar Cleansing Water uh, with rose petals. So I'm not really a micellar water user, but this will be nice to have for travel. I'm doing some traveling this summer, and it would be good to have. Plus, it's French, like, love, automatically. So that 
is it for my recent online beauty shopping gifts to myself. That beauty habit order was just literally so, so, so fun to put together and receive. And it just makes me incredibly happy to talk about these kind of new and interesting things. I hope that you found them interesting. Let me know if you wanna hear more dedicated reviews on anything that I talked about. Otherwise, some of these things might show up in future favorites videos or I could write a blog post on some of them. So yeah, in an effort to not make this video any longer than it is, I'm just gonna cut myself off from gabbing. So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you also like niche eco brands. I just will look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.